Hey y'all, this your girl Creole Shawnee Tarot coming at you with another video. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. So take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your story, don't make it fit. Holy Spirit, please protect my energy as I give this message today to my Leos. Please allow me to be the channel and provide Leo with clear and honest messages. The sleeper. The locksmith. The sluggard in the reverse. bottom of the deck we have the observer hmm. concern we have the return at the bottom of the deck all right so you could be thinking about returning to a situation or something could be going on that you're revisiting something from the past this could be an event that occurred a conversation that you had with someone uh, you analyzing why something has played out the way that it played out or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. But with the sleeper and the locksmith, I'm getting that um, somebody did not, like, they wasn't able to access something or have something. Somebody could have felt like something was kept away from them is what I'm also getting because this is like the Four of Pentacles energy with this locksmith energy. But then we got the sleeper here. All right, so you can have earth in your chart or you could be dealing with the earth sign, heavy on the earth energy in this reading with a little bit of water. You could be dealing with both signs, earth and water. All right. Um, yeah. It's like uh, you could have been sleeping on a situation or like I said, somebody could have been sleeping on you. Whoever was sleeping, I feel like this is like somebody not realizing why something is not for them or why it has been kept away from them. All right. But with the slugger coming out in the reverse, it seems as if somebody is taking some type of action and like change something. This could be the way that they feel about something here. All right. So somebody may be like gaining the strength and courage. Which that could be you, right? The strength and the courage to take some type of action. I feel like there was no action in the past. And I feel like the reason why this action is being taken is because somebody is concerned about what somebody has going on. Clarify the sleeper for my Leos. Seven of Cups, yeah. All right. So somebody here could have been under some type of illusion, some type of spell here with the seven of cups. Scorpio energy could be significant. You could be dealing with the earth sign with Scorpio on that chart. We have the four of wands here as well. All right. So some of you all, you could have been sleeping on um, a new opportunity. Four of wands could also indicate um, a union, like a marriage. Aries energy could be significant. All right. We have the five of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So somebody could have been experiencing financial struggles or troubles due to them sleeping on a connection here. Right. There was a lot of confusion. Somebody could have also had their options open, but it calls for lack of something here as long uh, as well as somebody being stuck. Right. 
Yeah, we have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, masculine energy here. And then we got the Wheel of Fortune right behind that. All right. So, yeah, I feel like somebody slept on someone. And I feel like if you was dealing with a water sign, you slept on a Pisces here with the Wheel of Fortune. The High Priest is right behind it with the Queen of Swords. All right. So, there could have been an air sign that was also interfering with the connection of somebody with Aaron the Chart. Queen of Pentacles coming out. Yeah. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. So, yes, yeah, there was definitely some type of conflict, a lot of confusion going around the situation. And basically, somebody slept on somebody. All right. I feel like it has something to do with something that was sacred, something that was supposed to have been like uh, not easily accessible. All right. So somebody may be choosing to move on after like not doing much about the situation to change it right the slugger did come out in the reverse so this means that things are moving forward now somebody is concerned and now they're thinking about making some sort of return so i don't know if this is your energy or somebody else but right behind the return we have the edge here right behind the edge we have the myth and right behind that we have pandora's box so there's a lot of lies a lot of secrets as well all right and then we got the disciple right behind that yeah so I feel like somebody was pushed to the edge to make a certain decision based off of some type of lies that was being spread. All right. There, there's a lot of secrets that's going on, too. But with this disciple energy coming out with the well here, somebody is seeing that uh, they didn't make the right choices or decisions here. And now they're concerned. Tell me about the locksmith. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Feminine Energy could be significant. We have the Nine of Swords here as well. All right. So you could have um, been in your head about a situation concerning a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. All right. I'm seeing Gemini energy here as well. So somebody could have Gemini in their Mars placement. All right, then we got the five of wands. Yeah, competition, chaos, strife. All right, so you could have put somebody in a competitive position or vice versa. Then we have the king of swords here at the bottom of the deck with the hermit here, along with the nine of cups. So this is somebody who's like uh, trying to play it safe. All right. Not really speaking up, possibly when they should have spoken up. I just feel like somebody was trying to avoid conflict, but conflict came to them anyway. Tell me about the slugging in the reverse on my Leos. Princess of Swords. Yeah, this is due to some type of lies, possibly between two feminines here with the Princess of Swords. And we got the foolish man here. Yeah, so let's keep in mind we have the myth that's coming up right behind here, right? Yeah, right after the edge, we got the myth here. So somebody was definitely pushed on edge or brought to the edge due to some type of lie, some type of deception here that caused somebody to not drag their feet anymore, take some type of swift action. But I feel like it was some foolish moves here with the fool. Yeah, the foolish man. We got the seven of Pentacles here with the devil, queen of Pentacles, heavy on the Capricorn energy. All right. Six of cups. Three of swords in a reverse. Yeah, so somebody was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to revisit this situation from the past, right? Three of swords coming out in the reverse. Something that uh, could have brought about some type of sorrow or disappointment upon somebody, right? And somebody could have thought that that was the best thing to do, right? Five of wands. It came with a lot of drama here, all right? We have the sun and we have the justice here with the two of cups here. Mm-hmm. So the sun is your card, Leo. Um, I just feel like, uh, you know, for a time, the situation did bring about some type of balance and happiness for you. All right. And it was a third party situation with the three of cups. And then we have the hangman right behind that. But somewhere along the lines, you felt stuck, right? You started to guard yourself or feeling like you don't really know what is right for you. I feel like a lot of you all, you definitely experienced some type of tower moment, right? Or somebody in your energy could have experienced some type of tower moment. Yep, we have the King of Cups here. So this could be you, right? 
Or if you're dealing with a masculine, this could be that water sign, right? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, masculine energy. Then we have the three of pentacles here. So like I said, this is what's causing somebody to want to return, work some things out because now they're realizing why certain things has been happening in regards to um, like what they should have given to a situation with the sleep and a locksmith. What it's telling me is somebody definitely slept on a sacred connection or um, something that was supposed to have been a special bond with someone. All right. And it seems like there was a lot of chatter, a lot of lies and gossip and, you know, rumors being spread about whatever this is. And so it caused somebody to go in another another direction. So whoever was like not moving their feet, not willing to give whatever it is to bring about this change, they're now in the opposite energy. So now they're ready to give the situation something because something here is raising somebody's concern. Tell me about the concern for my Leos. Queen of Pentacles, once again. So, Queen of Pentacles, keep on coming out. A lot of you all definitely dealing with the Earth sign. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. All right. Six of Wands, Three of Swords. The Lovers in the Reverse. The Two of Pentacles in the Reverse. The Seven of Pentacles in the Reverse. All right, there's a lot of push and pull energy here. All right, it's like you got the victory, the success with the six of wands, but then it's like whatever you felt like you wanted, it's like somebody suddenly realized that that was not for them, or they realized who they was hurting or something like that. All right, is what I'm picking up on here with this three of swords energy, and then we got the lovers in the reverse. So this caused some type of separation. It also caused some instability here. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy once again, and then we got the seven of Pentacles in the reverse. All right, so this is why somebody is willing to put in the work now because now they're realizing the cause of something here. All right, and it could all be doing dealing with this uh queen of pentacles here yeah based on gossip and lies like i said with some feminine energy here right behind the pin princess of swords we have the seven of cups that go the illusions the options right concerning something concerning your past all right where you could have like took some type of impulsive action all right yeah eight of wands this is somebody moving real fast in regards to making decisions concerning a new beginning or a union like i said with that four of wands coming out all right. So somebody is definitely concerned about a connection. They're thinking about how they're going to return, how they're going to do things differently. All right. How they slept on the connection. Tell me about the return for my Leos. Three of Swords. So somebody is planning on returning to somebody that they know they broke their heart, all right? Trying to offer them a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. It was a third-party situation with the Three of Cups, all right? Or there's another person involved. Yeah, this person was definitely juggling with that Two of Pentacles, and then we got the Sun here. This person felt like they could have the best of both worlds, or this is you, right? Ten of Cups, yeah, concerning somebody that you could possibly have kids with, family with, so forth. Maybe you have... It were both of these people that you've been juggling. But we have the Queen of Swords here. We have the Sun here. And then we got the Lovers with the Six of Swords. All right. With the King of Pentacles here. So it looks like you plan on moving forward with this Earth sign. Is what it's telling me. Let me pull your overall message and advice. Holy Spirit. What is the overall message and advice for my Leos watching this video? Speak up. At the bottom of the deck, we have think things through. I'm going to read both of those to close off your reading. Because it seems like Leos, y'all have a lot to think about. There's a lot to reassess. And um, things may not be as it seems. Like I said, it looks like somebody was already sleeping on a connection. And um, I feel like one of the connections that you was juggling or that this person was juggling with you and someone else, somebody is about to make a decision and be let go of. And I feel like somebody is trying to hurry up and return so that they won't lose that option. All right. So let me read, speak up. 
Is there a divide between how you show yourself to the world and who you really are? In what areas are you hiding your true self? Your soul is turning up the inner pressure to stop hiding and honestly reveal yourself and how you genuinely feel. Your divine energy is calling you to be authentic in your communication as this will open you to true intimacy. Do not believe you are convincing anyone with false appearances. In the same vein, do not trust the false appearances of others. Your divine invitation is to express your emotions rather than stuffing them with intellectual control. Recognize the difference between new feelings that provide valuable insight and information for creating direct and open communication and old defensive patterns that cut off communication. Stop the battle between your head and heart and allow your ego to step aside. Let your heart speak. Trust that positive relationships with others are beckoning you to open up. The more real you are, the more real others will be with you. Share your feelings openly and kindly and don't edit or water down your truth in any way. Others want to know this will build bridges in important ways. So yeah, like I said, somebody has been like trying to have their cake and eat it too, all right? And I feel like you may have had satisfaction out of both of these connections or somebody could have had satisfaction out of both of these connections. But I feel like it's like you... You could be playing mind games with one of these connections or they could be playing mind games with you. But somebody here definitely needs to speak up and somebody don't need to be impulsive. They really need to sit with self and think about what it is that they truly want and how they feel about whoever or whatever this is. All right. Because it also seems like somebody's been holding back their true feelings for a situation. All right. And not, not letting it be known either to this person or to the people. Um that they need to be expressing this too. All right. So maybe you're not telling someone how you truly feel about someone because you don't want to hurt the other person's feelings, right? But now is the time to speak up. It says right now is not the ideal time to move forward with new plans. Therefore, take your time and review your options thoroughly. You're entering a new stage of soul maturity and the decisions you make now will influence your life for the next several years. You will be more than capable of picking the best course of action if you give yourself ample time to prepare and act at the right time, just don't rush. Your divine energy is calling you to make your decisions for the good of all concerned. All right. The concern card is already here. So like I said, you know, it's like you do care about people and you may not want to hurt somebody's feelings. But whatever these feelings is that you've been like having pent up, locked up, not telling other people how you really feel about something. It's now time for you to come up out of this slugging energy and speak up and say things right because you've been sleeping long enough with the sleeper and the slugger coming out. All right. So. Um. It says, uh, think through how your future plans and behaviors will affect those you love and those you count and those who count on you and take strong grounded steps toward, uh, forward with this in mind. This is not to suggest that you should hesitate to take steps in a new direction. Not at all. Your divine energy suggests that you be fully prepared when moving ahead. Your divine invitation is to sit quietly in meditation and pray for guidance. Ask yourself if you are clear about your goal and if you are fully prepared to take the next step. Dissolve your attachment to the expectations of the world, however, pressing and listening to your soul. Pray for stillness of mind in order to receive the counsel and guidance that comes from your higher self and for the strength to follow it. All right. So that's what I have for you, Leos. And until next time, bye.